Hi, this is Mike with Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to install and use Hypothesis uh, annotation software. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to Google Chrome. If you don't have Google Chrome, uh, you'll need to download it and you can go to any web browser and type in Chrome web browser and download Google Chrome. And so to get to Hypothesis, you're gonna type in Hypothesis, Hypothesis, dot is is the address in your um, URL. And when you're in Hypothesis, all you need to do is go to get started and you create a free account and you put in your William & Mary credentials. So I'm gonna put in my credentials, username and email address. And then I'm gonna put in a password and I have a read and agreed and I'll hit sign up. Oh, I must have only letters, numbers, periods, and underscores for my name. So I'm gonna change it to MX Bloom 1966, I'm pretty old. And I'll hit sign up. So that's it, my account registration is successful. And now I check my email to uh, get the link to activate my account. I'm just gonna add my, there was a problem. So I'm just gonna put in my username, email, and my password that I created. Okay, so if that happens to you, just go ahead and try your username and password or your email address and password. And now I'm logged in. So now I've got my um, account, mxbloom1966, and I'm all ready to go. So to get started, I'm going to install the Chrome extension. I'll click on install Chrome extension. And I already installed it here. Um, but if you don't have it, it's very easy. You just click on install extension and then you'll have that Chrome extension. So once you have the extension installed, you'll notice that on your side menu, you've got this little H button. Uh, Hypothesis is inactive. And if I go to any web page, I will have access to edit in, um, I will have access to edit in Hypothesis. So I'll click on Hypothesis and I've activated it. And you'll notice I've got an arrow to open and close the hypothesis window. Um, I'm logged in right now, but I'm gonna log out because this is what it'll look like for you. So if you're logged out, it'll say sign up login and I'll click on login and it'll automatically log me in. So once I'm logged in, I can choose what group I want to um, be a part of. So I'm already, I've already joined the GSWS20503 group, um, I joined that before, but you'll be getting an email uh, with that link from your instructor to help you join that group. So once you've joined the group, you can choose any of the groups that you have, or you can add to a public group. Um, but when you're annotating for your um, class, you'll wanna make sure that you choose that GSWS205 group. So once that's chosen, um, you can, go to a document that's been posted. So if I wanted to comment on this article, Ward, Nowhere Without It, I'll click on it and the PDF will open. And now all I need to do is click on my hypothesis plugin. It's inactive right now and I'll click on it. And now you'll notice it's active. And if I scroll down and I find something I wanna comment on, I can select that and I can click annotate. And here I am, I'm logged in as myself and it's going to the right class. And I can say, here is my annotation. And that's it. And I'll post it. And it's all set. So now I've made that annotation and I can make comments on other people's annotations. And uh, that's how you use hypothesis to annotate a text.